Hi guys, Dom Ngo here today and show you how to shop for storage devices and maybe be happy with your life. I'm serious, look at how happy I am. Now when it comes to storage devices, there are three things you want to keep in mind. The performance, the capacity, and the data safety. I'll talk about data safety later, but when it comes to performance and capacity, I always get the fastest and the latest on the market. It's fun to have your hands on the best. I can't afford that. Oh, really? Okay. All right. In that case, I'll talk about picking and choosing and balancing the two, the performance and the capacity, so that people like my friend James here can afford them. Now, there are three types of storage devices. The first one is the internal drive. If you're buying one as a main drive to host operating system, this is where performance is very important. In this case, you're going to choose a smaller size Sony set drive, maybe 120 gig or 240 gig, about $200 or less to use for this purpose. You can always extend the storage of a, of a computer by using an external drive, or in case of a desktop computer, you can also use another regular hard drive as a secondary to host data. For example, this is one of my test machine here, and as you can see, I use an SSD over here as the main drive, and then I use another regular hard drive up top here as a drive to hold data. This setup is actually the best in terms of the balance between performance, capacity, and of course, affordability. Now, the second type of storage is the external drive. In this case, performance is not the most important thing, but the capacity. So how much is enough? You do not need too much either, but make sure that you have a drive that has more storage space than the internal drive that you want to back it up on. So something between 500 gigabyte and one terabyte should be good for most people. There's one exception, Thunderbolt. These drives are actually very expensive, but they also offer very good performance, and only professionals would need that. And professionals tend to spend a lot of money on their equipment. Now, the last type of storage device is the network attached or NAS server, such as this Synology right here. Now, this device is connected to your network, and therefore the performance is limited by the performance of the network itself. And a gigabit network, which is the fastest option for consumer, caps at about 130 megabyte per second. That said, you don't have to spend money on the internal drive, just buy the drive that is long-lasting and use less energy, such as this green drive right here, to use inside the NAS server. All right, now let's talk about data security. This is important because when a hard drive dies, you lose a lot more than just the drive itself. The information it holds actually worth more than the cost of a new drive. For that reason, for storage, you do not want to buy used or refurbished drive. You also want to buy a drive for the right environment. For example, this Lucy rocket drive right here, it can handle shock and drop, and it's good for people who work in the rough environment. Oops. The drive is okay. My toe might be broken, but the drive is okay. There's also another option called redundancy. For example, this drive right here comes with six drive bay, and you can actually set them to use one or two of the drive as redundant meaning that if one of the hard drive here die, you can replace it without losing the data. And finally, backup. Instead of buying just one portable drive right here, you buy two. In this case, you can put your data on two separate locations in addition to your computer. The good thing is these drives are actually very affordable with some capacity costing a lot less than $100. There you go. That's it for now. To find out more, go check out the detailedbuyingguideshare.com. If you have a question or you want to find out how happy I really am, you can reach me via Twitter or my Facebook page, and you'll be very impressed. And that's because I'm Dom Ngo, and this has been a brief guide on how to shop for your storage.